Hello and welcome to Draw an Opera. This episode is about Turandot by Puccini. It's a story about love. And a crazy cold-hearted Chinese princess who despises men and has a penchant for decapitation. Our story is set in Peking by the Violet City, which has the heads of Turandot's previous suitors on spears, just to set the scene. A mandarin decrees that Turandot will marry a man who can answer three riddles that she sets. If he fails, then he dies. Simple as. The Prince of Persia has just failed, and the crowd, always eager for some bloodshed, are rushing to see the execution. An old man, Timur, almost gets trampled, and a young slave girl, Liu, tries to protect him. But a stranger comes to help, our main prince. He turns out to be Timur's son, who was separated from him after a battle. What a stroke of luck! Liu has cared for Timur so well, because our prince once smiled at her in the palace. How convenient. The crowd, still very eager for blood, see the prince of Persia being led to the square. They suddenly plead for the princess to have mercy. Nope! Turandot just waves on the procession and the executioner. For some bizarre reason, our main prince is dazzled when he sees Turandot and announces that he will try the riddles. Timur and Liu beg him not to do it, but he insists. He goes to bang the ceremonial gong three times, but three courtiers, Ping, Pang and Pong, try to dissuade him with various reasons, including It is better to have two hundred other legs than her mere two. Weird. Liu begs him again and he is touched, but still goes ahead. They keep on begging. The crowd sings about death, and the prince sings about his passion for Turandot. Then he goes and bangs the gong. Dun dun dun! Act 2 starts and the trial begins in front of the Emperor's throne. He is bound by oath, but even he tries to dissuade the prince. But the prince is still defiant on winning Turandot's challenge. She says that she despises men because one of her ancestors was captured, tortured and killed by a man. But no man shall have me! So, the riddles begin. Riddle number one. What is that which everyone invokes and implores, which dies every dawn, and which, in the human heart, is reborn every night? The prince answers, La speranza, hope. Correct! These are not easy. Riddle number two. What flares like a flame, burns like a fever, grows tired if idle, grows cold if you die, hot if you love, and red like a sunset? The prince answers again, il sangue, blood. Correct again. The crowd are now cheering for the prince, and Turandot is not happy at all. Furiously, she says the third riddle. What is that ice that fires you, and yet from that fire harvests ice? The force that wants you free, yet makes you a slave, and in making you a slave, makes you a king. The prince simply answers, Turandot. The crowd goes wild, and Turandot begs her father to stop this marriage. As we heard before, though, he's bound by oath and can't stop it. The prince sets her a riddle, again, for some bizarre reason. If she can give him his name, which we don't know yet, by dawn she can kill him. Act 3, and the heralds are repeating Turandot's command, Nessun dorma, no one shall sleep on pain of death until the prince's name is discovered. The prince sings his famous aria, not even Turandot shall sleep, for tonight I shall triumph. After the prince sings this con belto aria, I doubt that anyone in the city would be asleep. Suddenly, Turandot and some soldiers arrive with Timur and Liu, who will be tortured to give up the prince's name. Liu says that only she knows the prince's name, and she loves him so much that she'll die before revealing it. She snatches a dagger and kills herself. Turandot is upset, as the prince has won and dawn is about to break. She says that he's free to go, but as she is crying, he reveals his name to her, Calaf. 
She has now won his challenge, but the prince insists that he has no life but in her. Turandot leads him outside the palace to where the crowd are waiting. She announces that she knows his name. Il suo nome è amor. His name is love. The crowd rejoices. What a happy story. Hey guys, if you enjoyed that, then feel free to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see some more Draw an Opera and Draw a Composer videos. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it.